ready for another combo video. <sighs> oh my gosh, we are so busy. Look what just came in. A Walking Dead regular edition. And over here we got a Mustang. Okay, we're going to do a video on that whole thing later. And then over here, it's the Transformers, and this is the Rubik's Cube edition. The, oh, no, no, it's the Autobot division. The Autobot, not a Rubik's Cube. They have different editions. We just opened it up, so we have to get these plastics out. Or these, uh, that's not plastic. Isn't it nice? Starfield. Just came in brand new. This is number 117 or 125. So let me get that set up. But first, let me see if I can stumble by. Do you need to get by, young lady? You know, first, I show you over here. Got an Adam family that's coming along nice, but we're waiting on a bunch of parts. And a Buck Rogers. The guy's been waiting on for an overhaul. We're doing an overhaul on that. I have something fun to share with you. Before we show the video, I would like to share with you something sent to me by Corporal Calico Scott. That's his YouTube channel, Corpor Corporal Calico. He actually took the time to make this up. You already know all the fun we have with uh, the cold never bothered me anyway with Elsa from uh, Frozen. Well, I am now officially in the Disney catalog. Mm -hmm. Here's the ad. Isn't this wonderful? And I'm paired here. You can buy me in different outfits. Yeah. See? See? Fathead, Todd, Tucky. And of course the... <laughs> oh, God. He took all that time to do that. Wasn't that neat? Nice. I thought, Thank you very much, Scott. That was very neat. Now I think it's time for us to show you Cubo Wizard. Our first one with the super bright LEDs. We filmed it yesterday. But this will be the first of our combo videos. Here we go. Frank, we're doing a repair on this game. He didn't want an overhaul. And Frank is putting in a new connector from Docent Electronics. After he solders all the pins on, he slides on these heat shrinks. Which they give you with the connector. Which they give you with a connector kit. And then uh, all you have to do is heat them up. Now the booklet says you have to heat them up delicately. So, uh, Frank, you know me, I don't follow. Well, delicate is a good thing sometimes. But, you know, and I thought probably the ideal thing for delicacy. Is to get <laughs> heat gun. You can use a little torch or even a zip on a lighter. Heat gun works the best if you don't have one. One of the other aforementioned options will work. Good. That will do it. Now, gaze your eyeballs on another cue ball wizard. Isn't this a bote? Tony, who's filming, just finished it, didn't you, Tony? Yep. And you made it extra nice? Always you know, do. Even though it's not sitting quite level, so our eight ball is rolling down. Now, notice the eight ball is in the right place, and the cue ball is in the right place. There's this big argument because the brochure has a picture that way. But you see, the cue ball never hits the eight ball. The cue ball hits, this, the cue stick hits the cue ball. The cue stick does not hit the eight ball. So I'm right. And when you play the game, the silver ball, actually, let me get it down here. The silver ball, as you play the game, on the field, and this is sitting here, your, your, your silver ball hits the eight ball. So, the silver ball is not supposed to hit the cue ball, is it, Tommy? Nope. Anyway, this has a Clint uh, Eastwood's supposed voice in it. We didn't it. It's not really this. But, um, the fellow who's getting this, yes, he is. Trading in the Riverboat Gambler. Another fine game. But we've it's actually already right. sold it. Right. 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 Tons of stuff to do. Oh, this is our first cubo wizard with the super bright LEDs. Tony put blue there. I hope the guy got the last one. 
We also have LEDs under here and throughout the place. You know your opening shot is going to try to hit the two blue targets. And as soon as you fire the ball and it passes this optic, that's what tells it to go. So there's two optics. There's an inner ramp optic and an exit ramp optic here. As with every Gauntlet game, System 3, you have to reheat the optics on both sides. It only takes a few seconds, but they get little cold connections. And you sure need that right now. Look at this beautiful back glass here, which is new. Get that right. Yeah, super bright. Super bright. And back here, Frank has put in the new um, high voltage caps and our button battery there. The, uh, the ramp there. Easy to change battery. You sure need that ramp, Yes, there we go, Frank. I think we're kind of, we should move on to another game, shouldn't we, Frank? Yeah, Look what's coming, though, in the Road Kings. Another Road Kings. This is our last one. Our last stock one. We're going to have one junk one and one piece of one. Let's go on to the next game. The crate for the transformers. <coughs> we have our cruising the world that's going out. Look at how beautiful this Mrs. Pac-Man is. But we're going to move on to the next team that's going out. The customer wants to update the software himself. Isn't this a beauty? This is the pro edition of The Walking Dead. And you know, I, I, you can obviously see the game is lit with all white LEDs, but the customer could change them and put different color ones in. Um, there are differences, but you really have to sit and look and see. Drop target here, the ramp that flops up and down here. Now he's still tied in uh, so we can transport it so he's not flopping all around. What, what did they call him? The well walker. Well walker. Well walker. You know, I have to see one of these episodes one day. I got all this. show on TV, so we should. Well, it just came out. It's only been on the air for a year. Right. They're only on season five. Listen, I still haven't seen the first episode of Dallas. Ugh. Who has time? Listen. But have you seen Columbo? Kurt? Listen, Kurt found this great scene from Columbo about a coffee machine. I'm going to run it for you right now. You said you had some... Questions you wanted to ask me? Yeah, nothing important, just a few details. Like that back door thing, if that really bothers me. Ah, uh, what about it? Um, does that coffee machine work? Yes, of course it does. What about it? Well, you know, the lab says that there was just no way for that lock to be forced from the outside. Thank you. So? Would you like the coffee? No, thanks. Well, how did anyone get in? You see, Evans is positive that all the doors were locked when he left the house earlier. And I don't see your uncle letting anyone in, unless he knew him. <laughs> now, can you imagine you put your money in, and then one second later reach down and get your cup of coffee out? I think that was an empty box, don't you? I don't think that was a real coffee machine. Where somebody... <laughs> Listen, I want to show you. I want you all to say goodbye. I want you to say goodbye to Stern's board system. Oh, I thought you were leaving. No, that would be celebrate. Notice you can hear but can't see. It's on the floor where he belongs. Anyway. Keep it up. You're going to be paid tonight. Listen, listen to this. This wonderful board system is bidding us adieu. Their new board system will support color, LCD monitors, and things. But great board system. Great, great board system. And we will be sorry to see it go. The only issues, and they're, 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 no, no, it's not an issue. You just have to put a little bit of, um, of um, uh, hot glue, hot glue, the, uh, glue yeah. or the, uh, to, to hold the ribbon connectors in. Zero maintenance. Unbelievable. Battery's easy to change. Oh, look, they have the same kind of I battery. If they drill the hole out in the board. The same battery we have on our games. It seems to have enough milliamps, doesn't it? There's not enough milliamps. To I'm bitter, aren't I, boys? Yep. There is nothing on earth like a brand new oh. pinball machine.
Give them a new glass. Give them a new glass. <laughs> There's nothing like a new pinball machine. I, I'm still mystified. There it is. I, I never can find the hole. I, I did find it twice. I have two girls. Anyway, let's see here. Oh, the color. Cab the color is different. Yeah, I like this cabinet and, uh, better. And it actually so has the people on it yes, from it the show. It does. Uh, it's the. It, it doesn't have the mirrored back. And this is a really nice looking game. I think if it was mine, I would uh, put some LEDs, color LEDs. In it. And that's. Do you think that's what uh, he's going to do, Tony? Probably. Or have me do it. But he is going to. But he's going to update the uh, software himself. He wants to learn a little about his new toy. So. You boys are going to deliver this, and while you do that, we're going to unpack Mustang while you're gone. So when you come back, we'll have Mustang to go. Let's leave for now. You got more employees coming in the final moment? Johnny? Scott? Tony? Kurt? Frank? Chris? Look at this embryon. <clears throat> it's coming along, and boy, it's going to be awfully bright. I think the man's going to have to wear sunglasses when he plays it. You can see we've done a nice assortment of, of um, color LEDs here. So we're still playing here. I think he's got all the drop targets in. We have brand new drop targets in. He had to do a lot of cleaning. It was really funny. Now, Stephen hasn't painted it yet. You can see up top here that uh, our arrow needs to be painted. But the play field is exceptionally nice. These are usually all beat. Uh, just ugly looking. Now I can see he's put color changes underneath these metal brackets. I think that looks pretty nice. That, that'll look sharp when the game's all assembled. But Frank, what we need to do is to weave our way through. Because now it's time to show you the game that the subject of this video was. Stern's Mustang. This is the Pro Edition. And I finally got a chance to play it. This is actually the first Mustang we've sold. And it, it's, a, it's really, really good. It's exceptional, actually. Better than we thought. As you know, all Stern games are now with LEDs. Even the Pro Editions are fully led There's colors under the play field, and then weights illuminate the surface. They're still using black rubbers. And I don't know if you know this, the reason is black rubbers last a lot longer. They do. They'll probably rarely break, if ever. But I don't know, white rubbers look nice. So, so but the black ones work? Yeah, yeah, they're not as elastic. I think if you put white rubbers in, the game will be even faster. <laughs> Steven, you're right. That is true. And uh, up here, uh, is this the last? No, Walking Dead was the last one to use the board system. Yeah, great board system. Very, very, very reliable. Nice and fits all nice and neat up there. See how nice the panel is sideways here. This is, out of this is not a, this is, well, they call it a dot matrix panel, but it's actually all LEDs. It's not gas, plasma gas anymore. It's all LED driven. And there's little boxes, so if you have an L, if you have a dot go out, you don't have to change the whole glass, you just have to change that segment. So that makes it easier. Anyway, the cabinet on the Pro is different than the limited editions. Um, I don't know the differences. And in, for the sake of this video, this is not going to be super in-depth on this game, simply because we just don't have the time. So if somebody orders another Mustang, I'll make a much longer video. Look at this side too, Frank. Of course, when games are brand new, they are. They are terrific looking. Oh, you know what? Wanted to show you this. Daisy Diesel is one of the voices, one of the lady voices in the game. And this custom Mustang creation, made from parts from a mechanical. These are actually, the exhaust fumes are actually the wires. This was made by Angela Drobka, or Drobka, who very nicely gave it to me at the expo in October. We have video, and you can see that in part one of our video, and then we, we actually spent the weekend. We did a lot of stuff together. Um, a bunch of us uh, kind of hung loose. She signed it on the back, 
And she, happy birthday, it was for my birthday. You know I went there during my birthday. I never heard the end of that from my wife. Also, at the Pitbull Expo, there was a Mustang Pro in the lobby, and they were doing a contest for Children's Wish. It's, it's actually something where you put money in. A fellow named Lonnie was going to try to play it 50 hours straight with only bathroom breaks every eight hours. 50 hours straight. That's, that's a, two hours over two days. And you'll be catching that in part two of the expo because I, I filmed most of that, that event here and there, little pieces. Do you know he played this game, not this particular one, but a Mustang, and he only had one thing happen. A ball got stuck, and they had to slide the glass out, like on, on the stick it. It got lodged someplace, and they couldn't shake it loose. Can you imagine? No flipper problems, no targets, no light bulbs, nothing. 50 hours of straight playing. Now that's durability. Anyway, let's go back to the front here and we'll start a game. Drag Race. You can choose. 1970. Mach 1. The Stunt 68. Driver. Police that nice? Pursuit. Road you, course. You can pick out whatever you Cruiser. want to start with. Let's do. 1965. Mustang Convertible. Isn't that great sound? Terrific soundtrack. I don't have this level, so fairness to the game. We actually have something on here, too. Isn't that great sound? Look at the speaker. You're shifting your gears by hitting up top here. all this different music. Let's try a different one. How about that, Frank? We did update it to 1.4. Very easy. The homeowner can do that themselves. Drag race. The so stunt we definitely driver. don't want the 65. Police pursuit. Let's see, uh, let's see what 69 is. How about that? 1960. <laughs> There's a different soundtrack to each car. I'm also pleased to see that they're firing the bass down at the bottom, so you get more bass out of it. These top speakers Road are a little course. bit lower, which is great. 1969, gives you, gives you Boss more, 302. Let's try a different one, Frank. Did you find any your stuff? No. Okay, I know this is a crude way to do it, but... No, we don't have to come from the top. Drag race. Let's do some fast Rally level. Race. I have a camera mouse, and I'll be your navigator for this race. Start left! Oh, that nice. Flipper means the top row, and the right flipper the bottom. Sort of like um, Cosmic. A gunfight did that, I think. And Starlight, I think, did it too. This has a nice shot here. See the little ramp here has popped up. Up here? So when you go up here, it fires it down. Take an easy right. And that ramp will drop. I remember what did I do to get that ramp to drop? Yeah, I should have learned more about the game. That'll treat the It's a so nice how the top here. The LEDs up here reflect on the silver. Very nice. Probably what I would do, Frank, 
Rally this was race. mine. I would put in either silver or I believe that guy makes the side uh, rails for this. Uh, the customized with the uh, Mustang side rails. That would be sharp. Anyway, what do you think, Frank? Awesome. I think it's awesome. You know what I would do if it was mine? I would light this car. You saw how we did that in Dodge Viper. We lit the Toyota that's on the Dodge. But we put headlights in and then we had taillights in. And then we tied them into the flash circuits. It is so easy to do that. Uh, we did that. Um, so you, don't, you don't have to buy those kits. Perfect. I'll show you on this one. Here. Uh, Jason is the originator of that, by the way. Uh, he takes full credit for coming up with the idea. I never thought of it. And uh, you're going to see this later. We're waiting on parts for this. But you can see how he's lit. With just a regular socket and a uh, uh, LED below that light these holes in the areas. And it's really sharp looking. It just makes this nice hole. We have a color changer under Uncle Lester down at the bottom. See that? He's not finished yet, so he's still telling me he's going to be lighting this hole. We just got the parts for the, for the thing. Uh, the bookcase. Okay. That's coming along. Look who's working behind me. Steven, do you know? you know that we have sold over 400 Miss Pac-Mans used. There's tons of these. Now, Stephen has probably only done 100 of them. Only? <laughs> yeah, but when did you start working here? Oh, uh, seven? Seven, yeah. So it's maybe, maybe more than 100. Maybe, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. I've done three in the past 10 days. Maybe more than a hundred. See, sometimes the detail. And then what we'll do is he get this gets a coat of high gloss clear, and that'll finish it up very nicely. But uh, here we have a Buck Rogers that we'll be doing soon, and we're waiting on some parts for uh, overlay for the Defender and a monitor glass. So this will be coming too. So I think this is time to say have a nice weekend for the rest of the weekend. Good night. Good night. <laughs>